everyone, Letty here. Welcome to Hashtag Crafty Goals 2024. I have a double 12 by 12 paper pad smash. That's two paper pads. I made some D-Stash Crafty Kits for Etsy. So welcome back everyone. I'm participating in Hashtag Crafty Goals 2024. One of my goals is to smash big paper pads. I also wanted to make crafty kits this month as my flex goal. So I have taken out two big 12 by 12 paper pads. They were brand new when I started this project. Um, this is Floral and Fruits from the Paper Studio Hobby Lobby. I got it on clearance um, sometime in the last two years. I did use up all of the sheets. It was single sided. I think there were 60 sheets. Here's sort of a close up of the little papers um, that came in that pad. So this was brand new. I broke the seal and then I smashed the entire thing. And then I have Mermaid Dreams, also on clearance. I had purchased from Hobby Lobby. This one had uh, iridescent uh, holographic foil on this one. So that was really fun. Um, lots of really fun patterns, lots of mermaids. There was also some floral images. I did use that for a second project. Um, so I did two projects with this one and one with the fruit uh paper pad but I was able to smash both of them I'm going to show you what I made in this video so I did also smash some additional items from my stash while doing this double smash and so I used up this paper pad of holographic cardstock from Joann's that's my favorite some gable boxes from Hobby Lobby in the party section and then a pack of also Hobby Lobby uh, stickers they were some sh epoxy shells I finished up this pack of twine or this roll of twine it was from Tuesday morning from many years ago and then I also used used up a ton of sequins. I created two uh, sequin mixes for some kits that I made today. So I will show you what that looks like, but I used up a ton of items for this double smash. So the first thing was the Mermaid Dreams paper pad. This is 12 by 12. I made 12 of these six count card sets. So these are just six cards that look exactly the same. They're very basic. They're almost like note cards, but I did put a little sentiment on the front. I have some God bless you sentiments on some of these. And then I also brought in some uh, some some birthday uh, sentiments. I used some gold cardstock on that one to just kind of layer it. Some hola, which is hello, buenos dias, which is is good day and then i also have just some other sentiments dios te bendiga which is god bless you in spanish so i just made some just random sentiments that i wanted to throw on some card sets that i thought would work then what i did with the rest of the paper was i made these mermaid d stash crafty kits i was able to make 12 of them i'll end up selling 11 or putting 11 on etsy and i'm going to keep one from myself this is what it'll look like when you get one if you purchase it and then i also made 11 or 12 of the fruit d stash crafty kits as well there's some fun items in these two kits i'm going to walk through what's in each of them and i have already posted them on etsy so you can check that out as well i'll have a link down below so here's what comes in this mermaid kit super fun the idea is that you can use these items to make either cards or some crafty projects i threw in one of these gable boxes just because of the holographic paper i thought that would be super fun to make like a little treat box with the mermaid paper so i threw one of those in and then i also threw in the six by six sheets of paper i cut them down from the 12 by 12s so they're not perfect i'm gonna that's my my warning to you they are not perfect um and then i also threw in one sheet of this holographic paper from card uh, cardstock from joann's that's my favorite of all time and then a shimmer paper this was from basil and it's like a like a mint color um with like a shimmer on it um and so that's what the the branding strip was but it is from basil i purchased that at joann's and then i did throw in a few additional sheets of cardstock cut downs so these are six by six you know cardstock and then we have 16 of these six by six sheets again these are cut down from 12 by 12 sheets of paper obviously because it was a 12 by 12 pad um, so the scale of the image is a lot larger so just as a heads up for that if you get a piece of paper and the image maybe doesn't quite you know make sense or you're only seeing like a portion of it that's why it's because I, I did cut them down from 12 by 12 sheets of paper um, but ultimately I find that you know even a six by six version of this is very usable and so my goal is in the month of May which is next month I'm going to be using the this kit so I'm going to use this kit and the other fruit kit that I made so 16 sheets of paper plus some cardstock and additional project item I did throw in some project life cards on this one as well so I threw in one of these large four by six project life cards and then I threw in several of these additional small 
smaller, uh, like three by four project life cards. And both kits are not the exact same. That's why I'm trying to show you um, here what came in each one. I do have a little bag of goodies here, um, super fun items. So I have these two little epoxy shell stickers that I threw in. I just cut down a new pack of epoxy shell stickers from my stash. I did throw in one foot or 12 inches of, or about 12 inches of some twine. And that's what I was able to finish off that roll. And then I did die cut some little sentiment strips for you. And they're on white 100 pound um, accent opaque cardstock. And so these are pretty thick. They're ready to go to use. You can stamp your sentiments ready to go. Now I did include some printed sentiments. So I printed these, I designed them and then I printed them on my computer. And then I die cut them out with a white, uh, I mean, with a circle die cut. Um, and I tried to make it uh, to where the sentiments would be great to use with this collection. You've got some birthdays, some hellos, miss you, thanks so much. Um, here's another birthday one. And these are just a different die cut shape. And then I created these mermaid ones. Mermaid hair don't care and you are mermaid amazing so those were some items i printed that was just to follow with the angel policies i did make a uh, sequin mix and this was just a custom mix i threw in a bunch of stuff from my stash some mermaids and some some you know iridescent uh, sequins and some little bubbles and just a lot of fun goodness in this little sequin mix it's so so fun so i hope you enjoy that as well as part of this little de-stash crafty kit so that's what i have i have 11 of these for sale i have i'm going to keep my 12th one again using the mermaid dreams uh collection collection from the paper studio from Hobby Lobby. This was a clearance kit or clearance pad sometime in the last two years. Then I have floral and fruits. And so I did end up using all 20 of the sheets on this one to make this kit right here. So he, this is what the kit will look like when you receive it, if you purchase it. And so I do have that Etsy link again, I'll link down below for you. So I tried to throw in a fun little project on this one too. The other one had the gable box. This one has a pizza box. This is already pre-scored and cut. You do have to glue it. It is very flimsy. I would say it's probably in the neighborhood of 65 pound cardstock. It was one of the Valentine projects from Hobby Lobby this past year. And so um, you you again it's not the best quality but i think if once you layer up some cardstock and some crafty paper i think it's going to be really fun and i think that's one of the projects that i'll be doing next month when i use this kit i included four segments or six by six sheets of regular cardstock um and so this is just some regular cardstock from my stash you got four different colors there and then you get 20 sheets of the six by six paper again fair warning i cut these down i don't think they are exactly six by six every single sheet um there are definitely some that are a sliver off or a sliver over um i just was cutting in mass so these are the different patterns that you get you're going to get one six by six portion of each of the papers that came in that paper pad these are just so fun i'm really digging the bright colors the fruits i'm super excited to play with this uh next month in may so i'm gonna keep one of these kits for myself and i'm gonna use it in the month of may to make some projects and i'll, I'll bring you along with me through youtube through these videos so that's that's the papers that come in this kit. Then I did throw in some Project Life cards as well. I have one of these four by six Project Life's cards. I tried to keep it to the fruit theme and then I threw in several of the smaller ones as well, three by fours. I think you get one less Project Life card in this kit as opposed to the mermaid one. Um, then I threw in some doilies in a couple of different sizes. And so this one was a, I think it's a Martha Stewart doily that they used to sell at Joann's. And this one is just over four and a half inches. And then I have a couple of these from Dollar Tree and these are just under four and a half inches. I got a green one, a red one as well, also just under four and a half. And then we've got some small ones from Doodlebug and these are just under three inches. So there's five total doilies, two small ones, three sort of medium or larger ones. And then we have our bag of goodies. And so I had brought in two sets of the 12 inch twine on this one because the colors were just so fun. You've got a pink and white and you've got a sort of a lime green and white. Again, one foot of each one. And then we have, again, the nine die cut stri sentiment strips. These are ready to go. You can stamp your own sentiment, bring out your stamps from your stash. Um, and then I did create some custom uh, sentiments for this one as well on printed. And so you are one in a melon thanks a melon and then we also have you are so sweet and then we have the you are very sweet and then hello sunshine and then sending birthday wishes thanks so much and hello so those were the sentiments that i had um, made i printed they're on a hundred pound cardstock as well so very sturdy 
for this kit and then I made a custom sequin mix as well. I included some little fruits in this one but not very many so you can kind of see but just a ton of really fun colors. So here's a close-up of what that sequin mix looks like. Just super fun to make sequin mixes I think and so I was trying to bring in a lot of the colors that were in this collection. I don't know that the light does it justice so I am hoping that you enjoy this one as part of crafting with this kit as well. Super super fun. So these are just the sequin mix. So again, I, and I think I did add a little bit of extra one on this one just because I had so much extra. So this was, again, my fruit de stash crafty kit from the floral and fruits paper pot. So again, hashtag crafty goals 2024. I was able to smash two 12 by 12 paper pads. I made some de stash crafty kits, which will be in my Etsy shop. I already have them. I'll link them down below. I did make some additional card sets. I may or may not list those. I may save those for in-person events, but otherwise I have 11 of each kit available if you would like one I will be using my kit in May so definitely if you are interested check it out or take out these pads if you have them start prepping a kit using some of the same items that I pulled together and we can uh, use them together in the month of May I'm just showing you here I think one the mermaid collection came from 2018 and I think the fruit collection came from 2021 so this was a double 12 by 12 paper pad smash I have my Etsy links down below and again this was for hashtag crafty goals 2024 so thanks for visiting everyone I hope you got some inspiration I hope you enjoyed this video make a crafty kit get ready for may as always happy crafting